Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We have tons of fun here on the channel talking about makeup and all things beauty. And here's the thing, here's the thing. I'm extremely late with this video. I know, I know. We're talking all about the Opera Ski Collection from Finding Ferdinand and Khaki Reviews Beauty. I have an excuse, okay? I received this collection late and I wasn't able to get a video up in time before the launch. Now I did swatches so I was able to upload that as a short and also on my Instagram. However, I never got a chance to actually post my video and I was contemplating whether or not I should actually upload this video. Debating back and forth. The collection is mostly sold out if not completely sold out and I don't know if they're doing a restock at all. So I am late to the game, but I feel like I still wanted to pay homage to this collection because I think it's a really great collaboration with Khaki and I like the product, so I still wanted to do the video. And I may be creating a little bit of FOMO with you or maybe I can inspire you to find something similar in your collection. See if you like the colors on me, if you use me as reference, and then, you know, do a little digging in your own collection, or maybe you'll find shades like this from existing brands, I don't know, or maybe we can kind of low-key bully Finding Ferdinand into restocking these products. Just a thought, just a thought. I mean, we don't bully people, but we may just um, aggressively suggest that they do a restock. I mean, Kaki already did her video. She had a successful launch, everything sold out, which when you do a collaboration, that's kind of the goal, right? To actually sell your products out because people are so excited about the product. And there has been no mention of a restock. In fact, when Khaki did her video, she said that, hey, we're just selling what we have on hand. That's it. They crunched the numbers from the previous collaboration and they made the same quantity or the same stock of products. But these things flew off the shelf. So congratulations to Khaki. I'm so excited for you. And I'm excited to actually play in these products. I feel like I still want to play with them. And hopefully you guys can still find this video entertaining. Maybe find some inspiration to play with your own collection. Or realize that maybe these shades weren't for you. So you really aren't missing out. But I feel like that won't be the case. So I apologize in advance for inciting some FOMO in you, okay? I feel really bad and that's why I'm like, maybe we can kind of bully, kind of bully, slightly bully, low-key bully Finding Ferdinand to add more to the collection. And I'm checking the website now and it seems like the three blushes are still available. So if you wanted to pick them up individually, you could, but the full collection is sold out so you can't get it as a complete set. The lip glosses are sold out, which I think those were the biggest hit of the collection. And then the blush adjusters are also sold out. So I apologize in advance. I am really sorry, but again, I just wanted to play with this collection. So enough yapping, let's just jump right into it. So again, this is the second collaboration between Khaki Reviews Beauty and Finding Ferdinand. It's the Apreski collection. It included three cream blushes, two blush adjusters, which were a little different to this collection, along with three scented lip glosses, which I think were probably the biggest hit from the collection. I may be wrong, but those sold out so quickly that I'm sure people were just all over it because they have different scents. But Khaki reached out to me. She's like, hey, I'm doing a second round with Finding Ferdinand. We're releasing a new collection. Do you want to get it in PR? And I'm like, absolutely. Please send it my way. And that's kind of the reason I'm late. So this got to me the day before the launch. So I just received it way too late to do a full video before the launch. But again, I was able to squeeze out a short and an Instagram reel so you were able to see the swatches on my arm, but I didn't get to do the swatches on my face, which is what I really wanted to do because I wanted to play around with the shades and see what khaki had in store. So I am going to play with these. I am going to apply them to my cheeks. 
There are three shades of the blushes as I mentioned. So this whole collection has a winter theme and is based around cool tone shades and a wintry flush to the cheeks that Kaki likes to call Fjord cheeks. It's something that she talks about on her channel and she made the term up a while back and it's just been an ongoing theme on her channel and the concept is you're running through you know wintry feels it's cold outside it's blistering cold and you get this flush to your cheeks that's cool tone but it's pink right so that's the vibe of this collection so the collection includes three cool tone mauvey beiges and two enhancers a cherry red and a cool plum which are meant as toppers over those blushes to intensify or change the colors just a little bit Either you want to make it more red or you want to make it more plum. And there are also three different scented lip glosses, as I said. And these have intense scents. So I'm done yapping. I want to go ahead and play with these blushes for you. So we're going to go ahead, apply these blushes to the cheek, apply the blush enhancers as well so you can see how they change or shift the colors of the three shades. And I'm also going to show you the swatches of the lip glosses again to incite a little bit of FOMO. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the swatches and playtime. Alright, so let's start out with the lightest shade. This is Sunrise. It is described as a light pink neutral that adds flush. And we're just going to pick this up using one of our Singe Beauty brushes. This is the F01 brush, which is meant for cream blush products. Now this shade is very light, so I don't expect a lot and the brush isn't really picking up too much and hmm <laughs> I kind of can't see anything let's see if we can build it up with my finger first and then blend it out I honestly don't expect this particular shade to work for me because it's meant for light and fair skin tones and you can see it it doesn't really show up. Yeah, I can't even make a comment honestly on this one because it just doesn't show up, right? So now let's go in with the blush adjusters to see if they do anything. So we have first up Cozy, which is a cherry red. And we're gonna pop her on. And this is almost like applying the shade adjuster by itself which is a very soft cherry pink. It definitely is more on the cool tone side though, but it doesn't look too purple on my skin tone. If you wanted a very subtle color, I feel like you could go in with the shade adjuster in Cozy, but on my complexion, I feel like it doesn't do much over the lightest blush or even on its own. It's just giving a slight flush to the skin, which is actually the intent. It's meant to just give a light shift to your present blush. So let's go in now with Chilled, which is described as a cool plum. And this one, 
Not a lot of pigment again, because these are the adjusters. They're not meant to be very pigmented. They're meant to be sheer. This one is definitely given more color. And it definitely is a cool tone shade, but it doesn't look too purple on my skin. And it's showing up now. So you are going to pick up one of the shade adjusters in your My Complexion or Deeper. Probably go with Chilled instead of Cozy. But let's go in with the second shade. I'll wipe this off and reapply my foundation. And by reapply, I really mean just wipe off my cheeks and go in with my foundation brush. I didn't actually add any more product to my cheeks. All right, let's go in with the next shade, which is meant for medium skin. This is High Noon, and it is described as a medium pink with berry undertones. I'm definitely seeing it on the brush now, so let's pop that on the cheeks. And there we go, we have color. Now, this is still not very pigmented, and with the updated formula for these blushes, they have a stiffer texture, so they're not as creamy, so they don't pick up as intensely on your brush, which I find to be a good thing, especially if you're working with a more pigmented product. You want to be able to control the application and the amount. This is a pretty blush. That is pretty. It is definitely more of a medium berry pink it's still given pink without being too purple which i was afraid of with these shades i was like oh my god these are gonna look too bruisey but no khaki did a good job with getting a good balance of cool tone without it reading too bruisey that is a good shade so if you're my complexion this shade will actually work for you you'll see it's it's a lot okay <laughs> ode to khaki a lot of blush but it's a pretty color. This is a color that I would wear. I was nervous about all of these shades, as I already mentioned. I was just like, ooh, what is this gonna be like? But so far, I like this shade. All right, let's do the adjusters over this shade, starting off with Cozy, which is the lighter of the two. This is more of a cherry red. So let's pop that on. And another thing that I'm finding with the updated formula, is that it's not as glowy. Again, something that works out for me because I have oily skin and I didn't really love the finish of the initial collection because it was just too glowy, too dewy, but these, I feel like so far, have a great balance between matte and like a more natural glowy finish because it's given a little bit of healthy glow, but nothing dewy at all and that added a little bit more pigment a little bit more pink but nothing too intense i don't think what do you think yeah it's a little bit more red now let's go in with chilled now which is the purple version which is the one i would say to go in with if you have deeper skin tone okay that is definitely pumping it up to a more berry tone so red versus berry oh i see the difference that's cute i prefer the berry it makes it a little bit more pink almost like a little bit more you know cool tone pink versus red so hair is the shade high noon with those two adjusters and like i said i like this shade but i prefer it topped with chilled over cozy all right next shade which is the final shade here we go we have dusk this one is described as a rich wine red with pink undertones do these have a fragrance the lip glosses have a fragrance but i don't know if the blushes do no they don't no fragrance added which is actually a good thing for a complexion product or a colored cosmetic you don't want it to have fragrance in in case it irritates someone's skin Okay, this color is cute too. I feel like it's a tie between this shade and High Noon. They're almost giving me a similar vibe. And because they're a more sheer formula, it's almost like you can get the same level of pigment, right? They're similar shades with different depths but they're given the same vibe on my skin. What do you think? Given the same vibe, I'm thinking. This one is definitely a little bit more intense. 
I don't know though if this is going to do it for really rich skin tones because I added quite a bit from my complexion and it's still given subtle. It's not given too much, which again is a good thing for me, but if you're deeper, will this show up? I don't know. I don't know. I felt the same way about the Latte collection that I don't feel like it necessarily would have worked the best on deep rich skin tones. But this on darker, maybe, but not rich, rich skin tones. Hold up, I feel like I have way too much going on. All right, I picked up Chilled, so we'll just go on this side. I started out with Chilled this time. This one is, again, the more purple berry. Yeah, it definitely has the more cool tone berry look. Okay, I mean, <laughs> I'm doing way too much so you can see the color, but you see, you catch the vibe. It definitely adds, yeah, more berry to the mix. It's cute. Do I prefer it over just the regular color? Mm, it's fine. Like it doesn't, it still doesn't look too bruisey. All right. Now let's go in with Cozy. And Cozy is the more red cherry of the adjusters. So this is supposed to give more red than berry. And you can see, berry, red. <laughs> I think this is cute. This is cute. This is definitely more subtle. These blushes are definitely more subtle. And again, I'm falling in love with the finish. It has this slight, slight glow. Nothing crazy. It just looks very natural versus dewy, which the latte collection was a little bit more dewy. This formula? Yes. Yes, ma'am. And this was done for stability of the product for shipping, not necessarily for the formula, but as a happy consequence, it's now a better finish for me. Right? Hmm. All right. So those are the three shades swatched with both adjusters. So more purple berry, chilled, and more red with cozy. All right, let's try out the lip glosses. So we're starting off with the lightest shade. This one is Cafe Noisette. And this one is described as, hold on now, it's described as a soft, shimmering, cool beige that will leave you dreaming of your morning hazelnut coffee. And this one, let me tell you right now, smells like coffee. It smells so strongly of coffee. It's like a full-on espresso with a slight hazelnut scent. It smells like real coffee. Like drinking coffee in Italy, this is what I remember. Yeah, it's really intense. It's really, it's really something. I don't know how they achieve such a strong scent. And if you don't like the scent of coffee, you might not like this, all right? It's really strong, almost overwhelming because I was swatching these out, swatching other products, and I kept smelling this coffee scent, right? And I swore to God that I spilled my coffee somewhere. You know if you spill coffee, and not just any old coffee, but like rich espresso coffee that's sweetened, and it leaves behind that strong coffee scent with a slightly sweet undernote, that's what this smells like. And it really smells like I spilled my coffee. I was so nervous looking around for where my coffee was in case I spilled it. But no, it's just this and the scent kind of lingers. So if you don't like strong fragrances or if you don't like the scent of coffee, you won't like this. This is definitely a beige though. It is definitely a milkier tone. It's not so milky that I would say it's unwearable for deeper and tan skin. But it wouldn't be my go-to shade because it looks very milky on the skin. Let me see if you can tell. It looks milky on my lips, right? Not my favorite color for me, but I can use this as a layering tone for when I do ombre lips to give the lighter effect. But I wouldn't wear this on its own just because it's very milky and there's that slight shimmer to it, this slight silver sparkle. And I think Khaki mentioned it's gold and silver, but it just looks very milky. It looks a little bit too milky for me. So not my favorite shade, but this wasn't meant for me. That shade was not meant for me. So let's go on with the shade that was meant for me. So this is Haute Coco. It's a cool brown that smells as delicious as it looks. And I know this is an ode to her friend, Hot Miss Tom. 
So it wasn't specifically made for me, but we're just gonna pretend it was because this is my vibe. I love a chocolatey brown, a cool tone brown. Like, give it to me. I am so ready. And this is a beautiful cool tone brown gloss. It's not too pigmented. It's more on the sheer side and it applies like a dream. Now, it's very cool. It's a cool tone shade, so it has a little bit of that gray neutral leaning undertone, okay? If you don't like gray tones, it won't be for you because it definitely reads as cool on my lips. You can see, right? It's cooler. It's not necessarily going to pair well with a warm look. Like, I'm wearing a warm look right now, so it's not necessarily the best, but I love this kind of shade, and I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. Mm, and it does smell like hot cocoa. It smells like Swiss Miss with marshmallows in it. It's not as intense a scent as the Cafe Noisette shade, but mm, it smells like hot chocolate. It doesn't linger as much, but it's a very warm, chocolatey fragrance, and I really like it. So this shade is probably my favorite one. Yeah, I'm gonna call it, this is my favorite one, but we have one more to try. And that one is Mold Wine. This one is described as a translucent deep red with hints of apple, citrus, and spice stirred into a warm mug of cheer. Oh, that's so cute. All right, let's do this. So sheer red, I'm not really a red gloss person. And I realize I'm not even really a red lipstick person. I really should wear more red lipsticks. And I do have a lot that look great. It's not that I don't like how they look. They just take a little bit more finessing and babying. And I will get red literally everywhere. So this is a good option if you want to wear red. But you probably don't want to go full on like matte lipstick red. You just want something red adjacent. Mm, this does smell very festive. It has a cinnamon spice to it. It doesn't tingle or anything. None of these lip glosses tingle. And the formula is very silky, very smooth. They're not too thick, but they're not thin like a lip oil or a lip oil lip gloss hybrid. These feel like a comfortable slippy gloss. Mm-hmm. Very cushy, very glidey but they also feel like they stick a little bit in place because they're not really oily or thin. Mm-hmm. This is a cute little shade. It's a cute little red vibe, you know? I don't know that... Well, you know what? I take that back. I might get a lot of use out of this because I like the glossy sheen of it. Right? But my favorite, my favorite is still going to be Hot Cocoa. So there you have the three shades. Hot cocoa is my favorite though, already said that. But let's go ahead and wrap up with my final thoughts on this collection. All right, so there you have it guys. And I am so sorry again that I wasn't able to get this video up in time for the launch and now everything is pretty much sold out. If you're interested in the single blushes, you can find them on the Find and Ferdinand website. Go ahead or maybe you already have your hands on them so you're enjoying them in your collection. But I really wanted to share this video and congratulate Kaki again, great job. I mean, she's a success story when it comes to collaborations. Both her collections have sold out and I am so excited and happy for her. And I can't wait to see what else she has in store and what else Findin' Ferdinand has in store. I think the blush formula has improved. I definitely prefer this over the initial launch. I feel like this blush formula is better for me. I have oily skin, so I prefer a less dewy blush and I think these are perfect. The formula sets down really well on the cheeks. They blend out really nicely. You can build them up as needed. The lightest shade obviously doesn't work for me but the two other shades, so the medium and the deeper shade definitely work. I think the medium shade is my favorite and then if you wanted to do the blush enhancers which you can't right now so maybe I should shut up. But those were a cute concept as well. You can use them to shift the shade of your blush. And that's an idea that you can still carry over into your own collection. If you have a cream blushes, mix them. 
top them with other shades mix them with powder blushes like use your collection and have fun with your makeup khaki is an artist so you see how her mind works she likes to mix and layer things so maybe just use that idea in your own collection and when you're applying your own makeup and the glosses are really nice as well the cafe noisette you're not missing out because it's a milky creamy shade on my complexion so if you use me as reference we're not missing out there but the hot cocoa shade that's a good shade it's a really nice shade i think it's a great color but again there are options on the market that you can find that's similar to this the amico Le excellence shade is somewhat similar it may be just slightly warmer so if you missed out on the khaki shade, just go ahead and grab the one from Amico Lee. This is a lip oil, so it's not going to be as intense, but I feel like it's a similar shade. It's a similar idea. And there are similar shades on the market. We also have, hold on, a shade or two from the Juvia's Place Coffee Collection. So we have some lip gloss shades that have cool undertones kind of look similar and they give a similar vibe these are some of my favorite lip glosses this is brown sugar which is the cooler tone option and then we have macchiato which is a little warmer they look similar should i swatch them i should swatch them all right let me swatch them out so this one is brown sugar and it has a coffee scent as well very similar on the lips so if you missed out and you want a similar shade here goes juvia's place and I will also swatch Salted Caramel, which is warmer, but if you wanted a coffee tone and coffee scented shade in a lip gloss, here you have some Juvia's Place colors. I'm giving you options again because the collection from Finding Ferdinand and Khaki sold out. This one is Macchiato, which is warmer but a little lighter. So all in all, I think these two shades are very similar. And then the Amico Le shade, let's swatch her as well, because again, I feel bad. I feel so bad. The Amico Le shade is also similar, and it's a little bit more sheer, kind of like the khaki one, but it's a little warmer. So that's the Amico Le one. So you have options, you know, and the coffee scent, again, Juvia's Place has it. So don't feel too, too bad. The Mold Wine, I think, is a cute red shade as well. Another Amico Lace shade you can use that has a similar vibe, but again, it's not going to be exact as Mold Wine is the shade Romance, which is their red version. And I'm just giving you options here. So the Amico Lace shade, I feel like, will definitely be a good alternative. There you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I don't have blush options to share with you because I don't really do cool tone blushes as much, but I do like the shades that Khaki released. And again, I just wanted to play with the collection and share that with you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, maybe found some entertainment in it and hopefully your FOMO didn't kick in too much. I'll go ahead and leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye guys.